All right, Shalom. We we'll start first by giving all praise and glories unto Yahweh, Bashim Yah Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Call Hello Yahweh, Bashim Yah Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the house of David the elect. Um, Shalom. And so, um, watching the Dallas live show just now, uh, brothers hit a uh, made a point about something in. Um, and I just want to do a quick video response, whatever you want to call it, about it. Um, it's about, man, we, we already at rock bottom, man. We are already at rock bottom. You know, I don't know what, what, um, here we go. This is how the spirit moves. So let me, let me hit, get this scripture right quick. Cause this wasn't even on my list of scriptures to get, but, but while I'm, while I'm speaking up, I might as well just just bring it out um yeah man we 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 have nothing worth any true value in this in this world right now we're already at rock bottom so you there's nothing that you can do to make us drop any lower in society in our personal lives than than yahweh bashim yashah has already done right so um, I'm going to start here at Luke 14 and 26. It says, um, if any man come to me and hate not his father and his mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. That wasn't, that was the one, but let me hit this one. I like this one also just to hit them back to back. In Matthew, the 19th chapter, it says, um, and every one that has forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit the kingdom. It's just like an inherit everlasting life. And that's basically just to say we do this for the for the um for the kingdom that's to come. We're not trying to establish anything on this side in this society. We we rather have it established in the in the time to come you know but we had to give up everything in this life here just to be able to make it for um for the kingdom into the kingdom you know because a lot of you other groups out there you guys are still trying to find ways to to have a remnants or 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 some type of life in in this society in in captivity you know, you, there's no way that you, you're not living when you're in hell or in captivity. This is, this is, we, we are dead. And so we, being in this truth, are even further dead of this life in this truth. We're even further dead to the world in this truth. We've given up all the things that, that of this life that had, had value. We've given those things up to be in this truth, to, to, to hopefully... Lord willing, we're of the elect, make it to the kingdom and get those things a hundredfold in the kingdom of heaven from Yahweh Bashim Yahshai and to be crowned by Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Right? So let me go into the lesson here. But, we're, but the point, point is, we're at rock bottom already. So when you slander us, when you defame us, when you um, put our personal information out there, that does nothing but build up our faith because we knew these things were supposed to happen. And in fact, the order has now changed. Because the spirit moves as it moves, not as, you know. I'm going to just roll with how the spirit moving, right? Um, first Corinthians, this was on the list. First, first Corinthians chapter 4, um, I'm going to start up at verse 9. It says, I think that the Most High has set forth us, the apostles, last as it were appointed to death. So you can slander all these men, try to kill their livelihoods, try to kill their, their name and, and, and everything else. In this world, but we don't care. It's like we were pointed to death because of the position that we're in. We're already at rock bottom. I said, for we are made a spectacle unto the world and to angels and to men. For we are fools for Yahweh Shai's sake, but ye are wise in Yahweh Shai. We are weak, but ye are strong. We're not weak. If, if you want to be a CIA agent and analyze and, and do all these other things, you can go ahead and do all that, man. You go ahead and do all that, you know. But when it comes down to it, we we have already hit rock bottom. You know, we have nothing else to to live for, nothing to you know, but this truth. We have nothing in this world. You you can't take nothing from us in this world, 
that, that has value that's worth giving up our position in his kingdom. Right? Even our children, like it said, all it listed all those things in Matthew and in Luke, because we have to be willing to give those things up. Does that mean that we treat those people or literally hate those people? No, we just prefer this truth above that because we know we can't enjoy our family, uh, or the little the little money we get or position or whatever we get in this life without. Uh, uh, we can't enjoy that on this side. We we have to enjoy it on the on the other side when it's much more abundant and much more uh, better and, and sincere from the heavenly Father when it's given as a gift from the heavenly Father. So to read on, it says. Um, Ye are weak, but ye are strong. Yeah, there's nothing that we can do if y'all want to go and analyze us and and, and and tear us down, you know, and 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 call our bosses on us or whatever you want to do. There's nothing that we we just gonna sit back and suffer that, right? But it's cool because the, we know the Most High said that it's all cool if we did. You know, if you try to you try to kill us and take us out, oh well, we we get a shortcut to the kingdom. You know, there's nothing that you can do to us. That's gonna push us out this truth. If you're of, if we're of the Lord willing, we're of the elect. You know, you cannot push us out out of it, out of this truth, man. Then you can do. We're already at rock bottom. So do your worst, do your best. You know, reading on it says, um, uh, for we are fools. This is back in First Corinthians, the fourth chapter, uh, verse ten. It says, we are fools for Yahushua's sake, but ye are wise in Yahushua. We are weak. But ye are strong. We are honorable, but we are despised. Y'all put all it's really doing a, an honorable thing in the sight of um a righteous thing in the sight of your house by Shimon Shai. But you people in the world, you scoffers, look at us like it's all uh, um uh, you despise us and, and that you know you you put BS on us, you slander us. But we'll take that. We'll be the bearers of bad news. Because that's, that's what we signed up to do, to be the bearers of bad news, to deliver it and warn you people, and to take the low. Uh, verse 11 says, even unto this present hour, we both hunger and thirst and are naked and are buffeted and have no certain dwelling place, right? And labor working with our own hands, being reviled, we bless. Being persecuted, we suffer it, right? So we're just going to deal with it. Being defamed, we entreat. We are made as the filth of the world and are the offscoring of all things until this day. So we knew that the, we signed up for this. This is in the scripture. So we know we was going to have to take the low when it came to these things. And that's what we do. We, we take this low and we, we want, you know, like it said in uh, Matthew the 19th chapter, I think the verse right after, I think it's verse 30, right after uh, 19 and 29, it said, um, the last shall be first and the first shall be last. You know, so you that's on top trying to make it on top, y'all gonna be on the bottom, and that's that's on the bottom doing the honorable thing. We are gonna be on the top. Uh, verse fourteen, it says, "I write these things to, sh I write not these things to shame you, but as my beloved sons, I warn you." So we were pre warned of these things that that you guys were gonna do. We already knew that y'all was gonna gonna come with this BS tacky ass, you know, um, tactics that y'all do, you know. We knew that y'all was going to come with that. Okay, moving on. Let's, we're going to go to, um, let's go to um, Ephesians. Yep. Ephesians chapter 2. Yeah, up at verse. Um, um, yeah, verse. Uh, straight up, yeah, this is uh, verse 20. It says, and. Let me read up. It says, Now, therefore, this is verse 19, Ephesians 2 and 19. Now, therefore, ye are no more of strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of the Most High God. So now we come into this thing, being on the low, taking the low, already at rock bottom, humbling down to the Most High, sacrificing these worldly things and, 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 and situations of, of prosperity or, or, or of acclaim. You know, we suffer those things to be on the low, but to be with Yahweh Hashem Shai within this brotherhood, right? It says, uh, verse 20 says, and now are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Yahweh Shai himself being the chief cornerstone. So this is the rock bottom that we are being built upon, right? It's Yahweh Shai. 
unlike you other guys, you guys don't have no foundation, man. The foundation is built upon your house side, and I, uh, you know, I hate to to, to 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 say it, but it's the truth. At Great Millstone, we're here at Great Millstone, the doctrine of Great Millstone, and those also that teach in that same doctrine, because that's what Great Millstone is not no no acronym that's that's supposed to make everybody, you know. Uh, know about it ain't about all of that about the men of great millstone it's about the doctrine of great millstone the doctrine of yahweh by shimmy outside that's what great millstone really means because that great millstone is a stone that that that, that humbles you and, and is a burden unto you right well this is the same stone cornerstone uh chief cornerstone that 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 we're here at rock bottom at so from here we can go no lower we're already at rock bottom, right? Um, read it again. It says, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets. Yeah, how, that's what we do. We're out here to prophesy. We're under the apostles and so on and so forth, right? It says, Yahweh Shai Mashiach himself being the chief cornerstone. So that's the, that's the rock bottom we're talking about. Let me see. Um in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto an holy temple of the Lord. Amen. Uh, hold on. Yep. Um, read it again. It says, uh, in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth in an holy temple of the Lord, in whom ye also are builded together for an inhabitation of the Most High through the Spirit. Yeah, the, the, the tabernacle of David. You know, to build it up our personal temples to be put firmly put together, fitly put together and framed into the, the, the overall tabernacle or temple with the temple of the Lord, which is the house of David, you know, so on and so forth, which is spiritual and not physical. Right? Um, we'll continue on. So from there, we're going to go to, let's go to First Peter. Yeah, first Peter 2, that's what we want. Yep. Chapter 2, and I want verse. Yeah. Uh, yeah, first Peter chapter 2, verse 6. It says, um, no, 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 let me read up. Yeah, I think the apostle, uh, yeah, I think the apostle hit this one earlier. Uh, first Peter chapter 2, verse 4. It says, To whom coming as unto a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of the Most High and precious. And the, and we are, if we're joint heirs, we're the same uh, um, lively stones, chosen of the Most High and precious unto him, because we're heirs with Yahweh Shai, which he's the chief cornerstone built upon that. And then we're fitly together with him. You know, you can't, you can't put brick and then put concrete, you know, put, um, straw or stick together that don't, that don't make a stable house so we use the same material we're built from the same cut from the same cloth you know to build this to build this house you know and the most high had us set up to be that same uh, uh stone or cloth you know verse 5 says ye also as li lively stones are built up in spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices yeah, and taking the low and being defamed and all the things that you guys want to do to us, that's that's some of the spiritual sacrifice. That's just some of them. These infirmities is some of, the, of them. These um these uh being all the things we named from Corinthians, you know, the the the, the Deuteronomy 28 chapter that starting at the 15th verse on down to the end, those are some of the sacrifices that our people go through that we in particular have to call them out on, even though they don't like it, we got to call them out on it, and we have to deal with those things as well. You know, they may not have the knowledge of those things, but we do. So we, we still have to take those things, and in the honorable, honorable positions that we're in, we still take the even further low than the lowest people of our nation. You know, but it but we're accepted, we're going to say, it says, in holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to the Most High by Yahweh Shai Mashiach. So we're accepted by taking this low, you know? Uh, verse 6, Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, 
precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. And that was from, um, tell you what, where, where that was at, just so y'all know. Um, that's in Isaiah. Yeah, Isaiah, the 28th chapter, 16th verse. Um, it says here, and, uh, and you therefore, okay, let me read up, elect precious, the elect, right, precious, the chosen, right, it says precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Verse 7, unto you therefore, which believeth he is precious, but unto them which are disobedient. Yeah, it says, uh, the stone that which the builders disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner, and a stone of stumbling, and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient. Yeah, those are the two-thirds, you know, that, that, that just don't want to hear this word, those that are supposed to be in the fold that know they're Israelites, yeah, them trying to, the, the, the scoffers and scorners, you know, the people trying to trying to bring this thing down. These people helping Esau trying to bring this thing down. We know about all of you and we signed up to deal with all of this. You know, because the scriptures comforted comforted us into in knowing that we were gonna go through these things. That's why it ain't no black ass Tazadakia over in uh an ICGJC. You know, that ain't the comforter, man. What he what he gonna tell me that these scriptures ain't told me and made me feel way better about, you know? Anyway, it says, um, um, yeah, uh, I'm gonna keep reading just because I like how it sounds. It says, uh, verse eight again, it says, a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense. That's why some of y'all come across this word in sincerity and you can't move past certain things because this was set up to, to push you out. You, you were not cut of that cloth. You, you, the pressure of, of, of being in Great Millstone or being in the truth of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai in, in this ministry, in this temple, in this body, a part of this rock, means you got to, man, it's a lot of pressure, man. That's why when you go into the parable of the sower, it said when truth and persecution arise because of the truth, because of this word, by and by ye are um, offended, you know? You you're not fit to do this thing. That's why you put your hand to the plow and it sounded all good, and then you took it you took your hand away, and you're gonna be beaten with many stripes for putting your hand to the plow more than those that never touched this word, right? Plus, you guys always seem to go from being um you go deep deep into wickedness back into the world, or you stay around gravitate around the truth, and you become scoffers to the truth. You ain't scoffing the the, the Edomites. You ain't scoffing these other groups. You scoffing the men of the Lord, man. I was pushing this thing out in sincerity and in truth. Um, it said, even to them that would stumble at the word being disobedient, were, were unto also they were appointed. Yeah, you were appointed to be those those men. You know, we were appointed to be the men of the Lord in righteousness. You were appointed to uh, to scoff the men of the Lord and to bring apprehension to this truth, man. You know? Uh, verse 9 says, but ye are chosen are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him which have called you out of darkness into this his marvelous light. So which in times past were not a people, but are now a people of the Most High, uh, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Yeah, because we, we were all lost in this thing, man. But now we're obtaining mercy, and the whole nation will obtain mercy through the men of the Lord, through the elect, because they'll come back unto Yahweh Hashem Yahshua on this side, and then they'll rebuild the kingdom for those other souls of the two thirds in the kingdom for Yahweh Hashem Yahshua unto righteousness. And from there, we're going to go to, um, let's go to Psalm 118. I think we just quoted Psalm 118. We did actually just quote Psalm 118, but I'm going to get it anyway. 18, I think it's like 22. 22, yeah. So, um, let me see, see. Psalm 1, here we go. Yeah, Psalm 118, verse 22. The stone which the builders refused is become the head stone of the corner at rock bottom. He's the first one Put, and think about it. If, if we understand that that's Yahweh Shai that was that cornerstone, 
he, as Adam, as the original spirit of Yahweh Shai, the firstborn son of Yahweh, he was first established and then we were built around him. And even again today, when we rebuild the temple, he was the first stone and we were built around him to build this thing up. Because when you really build something, you can't start going, you got to start with one with one corner. You got to start somewhere. At one point, you know, usually in a corner, you want to put the strong point on that corner to build the whole foundation upon it. And that's your high shy. It says, um, this is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in his, in our eyes. This is the day which the Lord Yahweh hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Yep. Um, now we want to go. This is like, yeah, I think this is the final script I have written down here. Matthew 21. Let's go to it. And we're going to close out, you know, just to keep it quick and to the point, you know, without drawing it out too, too long. But, you know, this is rock bottom, man. We're already at, if you're not at rock bottom, you know, where you, like brothers bring out, man, if you ain't consider, you know, like, damn, what am I going to do? I don't know if the bill's going to, if you ain't, your faith ain't being tested, you ain't going through nothing, man, you might want to consider what you're, you know, if you be in the faith, you know, because this is what we're supposed to be going through, you know, this, this builds us up. This, this makes us rejoice in your house by sharing sight because we know that's who's doing this, you know? Yeah, the 40, uh, where'd it go? 42. Um, Matthew 21, 42. It says, Yahweh Shai said unto them, did, did ye never read in the scriptures the stone which the builders rejected? The same has become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. We just quoted that right from Psalm 118. It said, Therefore I say unto you, the kingdom of the Most High shall be taken from you and given to a nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof. And whosoever shall fall on this stone shall be broken. Yeah, because a lot of people that know they're Israel, they ain't doing this thing completely. And you may have known you were Israel for years. Nate and them knew that they were Israel for all these years. And, and whoever, you know, these other groups, Yohanna and so on and so forth, they all knew they were Israel for all these years, but they ain't going to inherit the kingdom because they're, they're not doing it in, in, in righteousness. They're not doing it under the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. You know, and it will be given us to, to us, younger generation, under the apostles, you know, to, to rebuild this kingdom. Um, go back up. It says, uh, the kingdom of the Most High shall be taken from you and given to a nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof. Just like when we wandered in the wilderness with, uh, with Moses, we had to wait for all those elders to die off that came out of Egypt. Guess what? We got to do the same thing when the, when the new generation grows up and comes into the kingdom. Verse 44, and whosoever shall fall on this stone shall be broken. That rock of offense, right? But on whomsoever it shall fall, it will grind him to powder. That great millstone grinds take uh, and, and grind mill. It grinds down mill. You know, it grinds something down. You have that heavy stone that grinds down corn, mill, whatever you want to call it. You know, to make it to where you can use it, down the powder. To where you can control the, the dosage and, and use it for for um, for, the, for the texture thereof. Right? Well, all that's the, 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 the cornerstone, the rock bottom that we're talking about. You know, and when you don't, when you either get ground up and, and, and blown away or you get ground down, humbled down and then put together with the rest of this mill and built up, you know, from that same cornerstone, you know, but we're already at rock bottom, man. There's nothing that you guys out there can do to, to, to push us off this truth, man. We're already on the bottom. We only, the only way is up. This is the foundation that we're building upon now, you know, from, from rock bottom. So there's nothing that you can do. And since we're already there um, at that rock bottom, what you going to do? Well, the only thing you can do is kill us. And that's a positive, you know, because we know to die is gaining on this side in captivity. Now, if we rather, you know, it's more precious for us to, to live through it and make it. But if we don't, we could easily be raised a martyr and, and so on and so forth. This Man, as long as we stay in this word and stay humble to you, how about Shema Shai and stay in the spirit of it? Man, we, we ain't got nothing to worry about, regardless what what is come cometh upon us, man. So with that, Lord willing, brothers is edified, man. I just, you know, something that popped on me in the spirit when the brothers was doing the live show. Um, I'm gonna say Tawada, you know, Yahweh Shimashai. 
and we brought it to brought it to Yahweh Shai, called Hala, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the hopeful elect, the house of David, and double honors to the apostles, elders, the great millstone who rule well. You know, with that, say Shalom.